Well, hey, ladies, gents, guys, and gals, welcome back to 67 here on uh, Riverview and the console. Before we start into the final fields, um, we bought pigs and never really done anything with them, and I've just been feeding them. Um, I think we bought 20, didn't we? And uh, I kind of got 260 now. <laughs> um, we bought them at 525 for pig. And that sort of like doubles the price, so let's see what we get here. 20. 23 grand? Meh. Is it worth all the food and all the feed? I don't know, somebody's gonna have to work that out, but yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be better if I could take him to a slaughterhouse, but, we, uh, but I've been looking for the ones I think was Scott was telling me about, and I can't find them, so yeah. Um, Scott did comment on the episode 64, though. Um, he's not a fan of the location, uh, the tip location for the biomass, and uh, it only holds 18k. Well, that's true. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to cut up the capacities, that's just an XML. Um, and if I really wanted to change the tip trigger, you, you know, you could probably throw it into um, Giant's editor and do that. But yeah, is it really worth it? Um, don't know, maybe have a look at it for the next map, I don't know. But anyway, you know, at least we've got the pigs going. Uh, quick uh, update on the map as well. I have um, updated a few mods, and unfortunately because this is the old game version, um, I've lost some of like the uh, autoloaders and stuff because they've all been updated uh, to the next game version. Um, but, you know, for all we've got to go on here, wool and stuff, yeah, I'll forget about it for now. Right, so, um, let's get into this. Final harvest. Um, oh, sugar beet, ready to, everything's ready to go. Um, so let's just get things up and going and see what we can do with, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? that one. Uh, course play, that's word. So, might as well get the X9 going on this. So, let's go ahead generate that course. We'll do maybe two headlands. Generate that. Okay. And the starting point is right in front of us, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty handy. So, uh, let's change that to field 17. And I already have this down here ready to go for this, so I shouldn't need to do anything apart from that. And that's just going to go straight down to the oil factory. Um, is factory the right word? I don't know. I've never really discovered that or not. Yeah, it's okay. It's sitting there. You've got miles of room. Just go. Whatever, take your time. What I'll do is I'll move this down. Yeah, that was the problem. So that's ready to go. Um, put my phone on silent actually before we start. And we have soybeans to harvest down here. Somewhere. So, I can't remember what field we had this on. So let's just go ahead. Again. Let's get course play to do all that. Okay, start point is in front of us. I can't see this needing empty too many times because soybeans doesn't have a great uh, yield no matter if you do everything right anyway. See, it's just like we've got oh 98% yield bonus in this as well. So, yeah, <sighs> what field do I have down here on auto drive? Let's have a pick. This is uh 25 through 27. Uh, 
through 27. And I'm just going to just take that to the cell point. There's no point messing around. Where is the best cell point actually? Just what, now we're thinking about it. It's that one there. So soybeans. Wind dog farmers market. There we are. Uh, let's scroll down to that. And go. So I need to change the harvester to field 27. That's that ready to go. So, as well as that, we have corn to harvest um, on this field. And I thought, you know what? We haven't used this in. Uh, I mean, for the long I have it, I've only got 2.1 hours on it. And that's pretty rubbish, to be honest, for the amount of money we paid for it. So let's go ahead and generate that. And let's just get you started. And you're starting at the other. Oh, no, right in front of me. Cool. Um, and this is field 42. Go ahead. And I do have. Do I have an auto? I have the autoloader up there already. Or not the uh, autoloader. I have the. Uh, the console of the corn! Empty the tractor up here somewhere. There we are. Well, this is field 40. Oops. Um, let's just get it running behind the harvester just so it's not in the way. So, um, as well as our auto load trucks and trailers, kind of lost my, some of the class because they updated that pack as well. Um, but, I mean, we're not short in tractors. Uh, by any means. Just uh, have to remember that we did have some more at some stage, but uh, they're now away. So let's go ahead, bang that on that. Let's change that to field 40. Right, so that's all good, all ready to go. Let's have a look at our map. Uh, so those three fields are on harvest. I have our harvesters down here ready to go. You're going to be to the right. So let's go ahead and just play that from the first waypoint. And you're going to be to the left. Okay, so let's go ahead. That still remembers that from the last time. That's pretty cool. You're just going to wait till that gets ahead. So that's the cotton on the harvest then. How far ahead do you need to be? Still some cotton in this from the last time as well, so I mean, you know, we should get some more bales out of it quicker. Go, come on. It's taking its time. Come on, it's miles ahead. Must take come on. Move. How far ahead do you want it to get? Let's move it a bit closer to the just in case having problems picking that up for some strange reason. Might as well do that in the way. And uh, first waypoint where you go. Right, okay, so I had to move it closer to the first waypoint, apparently. Of course the bigger the headers, the more it misses in the corners for some reason. I don't know why that is, of course, play. That's cotton on the go. Uh, let's bounce back up the main farm. And our sugarcane harvester is here somewhere. There we are. Oh, that's right, I wouldn't fool the last time, would it? Let's 
almost full and I though. Okay, I, I don't know. And that start point, where was the start point for that? Over there. This is field 11 actually. Why is this field 10? Let's change that to field 11. And first waypoint. There you go. Yeah, some sugar cane. Uh, need a tractor and a trailer for that. Let's see what we got. Uh, there's one up here actually, just use this one, I'm using this for manure. I have just, uh, I basically just let the, the greenhouses go, because <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be here much longer anyway, so rather than just run around filling them every five seconds. So, let's try that. We're going to go field 11. Uh, root crop drop. Yeah, that's all spying. And that's that. We're ready to go. And if I remember right, this one will be in this corner, so let's just stay with it two minutes because of the wall behind. Might as well get it all, you know. Oh, it's a reversion of where it takes the tops off it. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll say nearest waypoint then. Go. Cool. And that's that then cutting again. See the way the uh, the header tilts over the field, that's pretty class. <laughs> Um, one final thing to get going then is uh, over here, which is sugar beet cutter, or harvester, uh, which I have somewhere. There's it there. Okay, so we've upgraded the header on this one just to get this a bit quicker. Let's go ahead and take that course out, get a new course going. Uh, I go ahead, why not keep all that lovely stuff in there. And let's get that going. Start point is there. And I just need an empty for this now. And let's stop there. First waypoint, where you go. That's that cup. Um, let's see what we got. I want to use that, why not? That was field six, wasn't it? Big one with field, yeah, field six. So, field number six. We're just going to drop that at the root crop drop. And wherever that is, root crop storage. There we are. Oh, okay. I'm just going to do a mad turn. It's my fault. One directional. Is it going to make it? It should do. Yeah. Then bounce back to the main farm again. Need to change the harvester on the field six. Oh, stuck in the silos.
filling up pretty fast as well. I have to say, those headers make a nice, um, a nice job of the field. They don't seem to miss much, which is pretty cool. I like that. A big mad headlands on this, I'd, I'd probably just go ahead and do it without uh, putting headlands on it. That would be nice. Okay, that'll take its tank on down, actually. So, in relation to the silage harvest we did, I went ahead and put everything into this store. And as you can see, guys, we got 4.6 million out of those fields. Um. 4.6 million litres of chaff. I'm not going to bother for a minute. I just thought I'd put it here just to show you how much we actually get from those fields. Um, we do get quite a lot of chaff off of that. Uh, and that's chopped at not the final growth stage when it's um, ripe. It's just the one before it's ripe. So it'd be interesting to find out if we get more off it when it's ripe or not. Um, I guess generally watching videos on YouTube that you know you should chop it before it goes ripe so there's a higher moisture content in it. Maybe uh I think that's right. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Right, so everything is up and going. You're having a problem there with that tree. I mean, it's a tree, you know, just drive past it. Okay, that's the nearest waypoint. That should be grand now. I don't think there's any mad walls in this to keep it back either, so... Yeah. That looks a bit high, actually, doesn't it? But it's working, so I'm not going to complain. Why are you having troubles? Right, you're too full. Oh, this is too tall to fit into that. Okay. Um. What are tractors have we got? Not many. Uh, that are small and maybe small enough to get into that. Let me see. What else have we got over here? I think I've only got Zerions left. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I have... Where is... Ah, I lost that tractor. The tra that's part of the class pack that I updated, is the, uh, the Terra track. Um... Let's see, uh... No, too big. Uh, you were a case, weren't you? No. For some reason, you are pretty funny at working. Tony's mods was that. Don't know why that's in the vehicle's part, not the trailer's part. Uh, what else for MR? Oh, that's that stuff we brought in to do the bridge. Or the, the Ford. Um, oh, FF mods, what's that? Oh, green carts. Okay, I forgot I had those. Uh, Mods by Papa Smurf. No, no good vehicles in that. That's not a vehicle either. Uh, where is the... Uh, was it that one? Pitbull. No. I had a, a case. Maybe it's been updated as well because... Uh, you probably find that um, I'm, I'm thinking that, that is going to be updated to uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be updated to um, the next game version. That's why I can't see that. They're probably all too tall to fit underneath it. I'm probably going to have to look at something in the medium range. Um, Optum. 
Who errors? Okay, let's see. Aye, that'll do. Prefer those ones. Bump it right up. Don't need GPS. Let's just go ahead and buy it. Because, I mean, we've got 114 million. Uh, back. Let's just bump a trailer while we're here for a bit of crack. See me running around looking for it. Trailers. Trailers. Uh, let's see. Um... Where is that one that we had there? That one there, yeah. Uh, I'll keep that at white towers. Yeah, I could put the extension on it. Buy that. Okay. Should be big enough to handle all this. Just so we get something for a bit of a, a bit of difference, you know. Um, we haven't really used any case when you hold in this version of this game. I think we had a T6 way back at the start, didn't we? So, let's go ahead. Uh, you go to your closest point. Apply. Uh, harvester. Field 11. Uh, Recrop drop. Bring it out onto the road. Seems to be able to pick up the track better there. And go. Has our... Where is our fast track? It should be up there by now. Or is it... Stuck somewhere? I think the fast track I'm maybe dumping already. Yeah, so we lost uh, a game for some strange reason. The Unimogs needed the pallet um, auto load script to work. Uh, I don't know why that was. Uh, I can't remember any of the Unimogs having anything to do with that. So. Uh, let's see, where is that fast track? Oh, it's dumping. Okay. Alright, so let's get back to this and make sure we can get fed underneath. Yeah, so still keeping the next map under wraps. Um, I may make a few changes to the starting lineup, um, starting farms and stuff. Um, I'll see. I'll, I'll have a, look, a proper look at the map um, and see what, we wanted, what I want to do with it. It's definitely going to take us a lot longer to get um, anywhere in the map than sort of this one. Uh, for the simple reason being everything is so much more expensive, fields and all. It is going to be a 4x map, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but I'll go a bit of a course play crazy with harvesters and stuff, more so than we have been doing with this. I think the biggest course we had was the five choppers. I think, yeah, that was the biggest course of them, was five choppers, wasn't it? Yeah. Which turned out to be a bit of a nightmare, because, uh, halfway through it, one of the vehicles on the chopper decided it needed repair, took itself off, uh, to go to the repair station, get stuck somewhere along the way, and, uh, the chopper sat there for, I don't know how long before I noticed it and went, well, here, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, but that's what it was, the vehicle needed repaired, so... Yeah. Maybe something we'll have to look at in the future. Putting a few more repair stations down in places that are closer yeah, or more handier. Although the next map is not going to be sort of like this tight roads and stuff that, you know, I, I generally like this type of map, you know, because it's what I know um, what farms and around, you know, Ireland look like. Hedges and walls. Uh, but this next one is going to be a bit more sort of open, so. Um, I will be able to get some green carts or auger wagons. We're, we're going to try that out because I don't think I've done that yet with auto drive. Um, have I? No, I don't even think I've done auto drive auger carts, so that'll be an experiment for me as well. Um, yeah. So that'll be fun. So you're going to fit underneath? You are. You're going to dump it. Ah, uh, that's too high. Right. Um. 
That's okay, I have another, uh, another trailer we can use. I could probably just start playing with the auger, but... It's, it's... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do it every time with auto drive, probably, so let's, uh... Let's not. Uh, I have another trailer up here anyway, so... Yeah, we'll just get around to that. This leans a bit when it's turning. So... That is... Not going to work, because that's a forage wagon. Is that the only other one I have? Is there. Um, that'll take us some time to empty. I don't understand that. That looks just as high as the other one, doesn't it? Eh. I just went for that one because I had a bigger capacity because, I mean, this is going to be flying up and down, but I suppose auto-grive? 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 Auto oh, it's a crash. Auto-drive is going to be doing its own. Yeah, I'll let it, just let it go, I suppose. Well, let's go ahead. Now that we've got you on the field, we'll hit the, that. Let's make sure that you go underneath. Where are you going? You just want to drive through some hedges, is that it? There we are. Party made a dent in what was in the key and harvester, but hey. We should kick off and start going again here. There we are. So, how is our. Uh, Corn har our corn harvesters, the cotton harvesters getting on. We're getting some bills. Let's get the uh, the truck out to that, just in case it starts messing up on the headlands. So it'd be interesting to see whether it was just this map, you know, because when you look at it, how we made our money to start with with uh, wool, clothes. Sorry, will and then you had the fabric, then you had the clothes. You know, that's how we were making money on this map um, to start with. So, is that all a little script? No, oh, no, we are. No, it's not. It's in game script. Just have to play with it to get it right. It's not going to let us pick that off the back yet because it's not recognized it as a bill until it drops. About 20,000 liters. So, therefore, now we have harvested everything um, this map has to offer. Uh, it's all in game crops. Next map does have a few additional, so we'll see how that goes. Um, do I want to go for the BGF? I think I want to go with the BGF at the start, um, just to make some dash. I think I'll just edit the in-game BGA to take more. I'll not edit the prices, um, but I'll edit the capacities. Um, because, you know, obviously if of course we had been able to fill a BGA or whatever, I would have done it that way. I'm not worried about it, but if I'm gonna have to do it, yeah, I don't wanna be spending, you know, hours every day filling the BGA, so um probably just edit the capacity a bit to take them more so I can just let it go. The only reason I'm doing this is because I don't want um, I don't want the harvesters when they're up and down you know, the field to get stuck on these bales, so that's why I'm going ahead and just picking these up now. The bales not supported, we see. Yeah. Mm. 
There you go, guys. It's 30 minutes. Um, what I'll do then is I'm just going to let all this run. Um, I'm going to come back in the next episode, which is probably going to be the last episode. We'll have a look around, of our, you know, their usual look around all the equipment, see what we ended up with, and um, how much money we made, and hours spent playing, etc, etc, etc. We'll have a good look at how we made our money and stuff. Uh, but until then, I'll, uh, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye for now.